Ah, uh, it's dmctoday.com at Brandon's house, yeah. Are they filming? Yeah, we're filming. So, you're on dmctoday.com. I'm going to be on DMC Talk. You want to be on DMC? <laughs> DMC Talk is for people that don't do stuff like this. <laughs> anyway, alright, so this is angle drive replacement. Um, I've always loosened this nut. It's a uh, 32 or 34, I think, on the 81s. 83s is a. Uh, uh, 36, but Bill's saying you don't have to loosen that nut, so, yeah, what he just said, so, what he's saying is to just loosen the nut on the back, so, we'll get us, all right, there we go, Just broke free. You want me to keep going? Or? Uh, until we hit the tie rod, then we'll put the wrench over. Okay, now we'll put the wrench over. Uh, give me a little more. No, come, come down. Let me get. One last thing to mention with the angle drive make sure you get on there tight because that spindle, well, can't take a good picture, but that's what holds the axle together. So get on there real tight. Oh yeah, it's moving. Okay. So now we got a pit tire on. Eventually, we're not enough. There we go. Okay, there we go. See, skinny white people, we have to use hydraulics. <laughs> Brandon's the one with the big muscles. Yeah. Oh, t take a video of Brandon's muscles. Come on, Brandon, show us your muscles. Now, we'll pull the strip back. There we go. Oh, right. gosh. We can't do that now. Well, no women are going to look at this anyway. <laughs> if they did, you know, it would pretty much eliminate me and Bill from the... Loins are dick magnets, not chick magnets. <laughs> That's true. You can say something about fellow owners, but then let's see it. There you go. Alright, there's his angle drop, and then what we gotta do is uh there's a little ring in there, you can't see it on the video because my camera's no good. Oh, they don't give you enough with the new one? You gotta pay extra for it. Yeah. So we gotta transfer um, either that or you just beat it with a hammer. You can snap it off. Yeah. But what I what I do yeah, is Yeah, I've got picks if you want to mess with that stupid ring. I can get it out. Okay. Yeah. I got picks. Anyway, there's a ring in there. But yeah, if uh you're not used to doing this kind of stuff, you can get it from your vendor of choice with uh this might be original. I've never seen one like this. So the Houston ones don't look like that. Yeah, see 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 yeah. the uh, um lubrication screw. And here Anyway, um you can buy it from your vendor of choice with the no, nut notice already that on. The it. lubrication screw is upside down. I am convinced that this thing was designed to go on that side of the vehicle because of the direction of the winding, when it's oriented like this, it, primary wheel rotation is unwinding this. You know how it turns into spaghetti inside the spindle yeah. sometimes? Look at the way it's wound. In this direction here, you're exerting unwinding um, force on, on the windings of the cable. Huh. If it was on that wheel, you'd be turning into it. I wonder if the aftermark or the aftermark one's better. Is that wound the other way? I don't know, but um, why is your lubrication screw upside down? See, lubrication screws. How are you supposed to lubricate it when it's upside down? Yeah, the Houston ones, the lubrication screw is on the bottom. Well, it's a grease spinning. But this yeah. is original. This is the way the car was built with the damn lubrication. You're supposed to put oil. You're supposed to take a little screw out, put oil uh -huh. in there, but it's upside down. How do you get oil upside down? Yeah, that's Whereas true. Whereas if it was on, remember, it's a British part. So if it's on that wheel to drive something on the British side, huh. Then you lubrication screw up top. Okay. I'm convinced these things are supposed to be on the, uh, um, that side of the vehicle, right-hand drive. All right. Well, if you get a good also, you'll you'll notice 
uh, when you turn them one way, they, they, when it's on this side, and you mm -hmm. turn it in the primary rotation, it has like a binding. You, you feel, you know, bind into itself. When you turn it that way, it turns more smoothly. Because the, the gears are meshing into each other when it's on this wheel. On that wheel, the gears are meshing outwards. Hmm. Okay. I, I think I think that what this is is, is some British part that they grab for a, a, a left-hand drive car, and we're stuck with it. <laughs> Piece of shit. <laughs> I love mine. I'm thinking about buying a third one. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to transfer the. Uh, you know, what are we doing with your new? Oh, I bought a third one? I know if I have. Oh, I have to compete with Darren. Yep, my third one. But mine's only going to have a thousand miles on it. You bought it from Josh. Where's your new angle drive? There it is over there. Hand me that. The new one. I just want to film the new one. Are you going to edit this? Are you going to add music to it? No, I'm going to edit some of your words out, though, so I don't offend. Oh, did, did I mention anybody by name? <laughs> uh, you have a little cussing in there. I try not to have any. What do you say? Oh, piece of shit. Yeah. I mean, you're just saying the truth, but, you know. Well, just say, piece of shit. Yeah. Just the essay. <laughs> Hand me that. No, no, you know how, how, how like, like um, Atlanta Smart set and uh, they're playing the, her um, um, one hand in my pocket, you know, um, Brian is saying chicken shit. She just says, chicken shit. And then they, they truncate the board, and everybody knows what it is, but, you know, they, they, they don't upset the, the uh, FCC. So, there is, let's see, yeah, I think that's how it goes. Let's no, no. see if we can't fix this thing. It goes like that. So, we got to transfer the nut from here to the other one. There's a little uh, ring. we got to take that out, move the nut over, put the ring in, and that's it. All right, so I got the little nut. You got the little nut transferred. I was originally trying to pick it out, but Bill's like, just beat the thing off and beat the old angle drive off. So I did that with a hammer. Bill doesn't know what he's talking about. Yeah, don't listen to Bill. I mean, so far we haven't loosened that nut. And, um, and yeah. Yeah, all that stuff, too. So, <laughs> oh gosh. Alright, so, anyway, we get back here, and it's pretty simple. Well, we might have to lower the car a little bit or jack it up or something because uh, I've had this before. You can see that spring is in the way. Here, rotate the... Uh, so you string the lock. There you go. All right. Oh, there we go. Oh, that one. Well, it's still a little bit... Uh, I can get it. There we go. Look at that. I did what Bill said. I just turned the uh, wheel. Bill's an idiot. Yeah, Bill's an idiot. So, anyway, I'm tightening it on there. I'm going to put that inch in a uh, corner on there, tighten it up some more, and then when it's all said and done, we'll connect the speedometer cable back there and uh, put a dust cap on here. We'll put in the... I don't know what I did with it. Here it is. Put in the uh, cable that came with it. Then the dust cap. I don't know where the dust cap is. Oh, here it is. Dust cap will go on there. I do like putting a little electrical tape around the edge of the dust cap to help hold it in there good. And we might also put a little uh, JB Weld in here to help it get a good uh, grip on that. So that's it for angle drive replacement. Yep, dmcaday.com. One last thing to mention with the angle drive, make sure you get on there tight because that spindle, well, can't take a good picture, but that's what holds the axle together. So get on there real tight. Nah. Well, there's it's in there somewhere. Brandon, is your needle jumping? Yeah. Got oh, a oh. New angle drive, dust cap. That's pretty weird. Single to piece. Seriously, I've had I've had this car for five years and I've never seen it do that. Well, you got you got a speedometer now. You got a uh, temp gauge. Got a AC. Does the speedometer work too now? Yeah. Yeah, it's tied together. Oh, yeah. I'm pro the brake on it too. Huh? The brake? The odometer. The odometer. No, the odometer part of this. Oh, he's talking about the needle, the uh, reset. Well, not, not the reset, but this is the thing in general. Yeah, it's the general. Actually, you know what I should have done? Uh, uh, Sold your car? Well, yeah, a long time ago, but changed the mileage on it. Because I have an idea about how many miles it has. Uh, you have to take the speedometer out to do that. Yeah. Yeah, it's not worth it now. 